texture. I'm going to show you how to create a fire intro in Logic Pro X. The song we're going to be using is Refiner by Maverick City. So today we're going to start with that intro and I'm going to show you how to do that. So I need you to hit that like button and subscribe to this channel. So I'm going to first start off with the BPM. Please take notes. I think that will really help you out if you are new to gospel music production and CCM stuff. So I know the BPM of this song is um, 128. It's really 124, but since I'm doing a remix, I'm going to speed it up just a little bit. So we're going to start with that BPM of 128. If it feels too fast, I'm going to slow it down. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the loop first. So let's pull up premium church samples. All right, we're going to start with the shakers. So those are the shakers right here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to quantize these shakers by holding command A. Then we're going to press Q and you're going to see everything snaps to the grid. Then I'm going to hold option and I'm going to drag this over. And this is the shaker for the loop. We're going to press J and we're going to join it. I'm going to duplicate this track and we're going to name this one snap. Now, I always like to start with the loop first whenever I'm doing any type of production. It really helps to establish the rhythm and the groove of the song. Let's add another shaker in there to add some texture. Now here's a pro tip that you can use. You can steal from me. Um, we're gonna pull up a drone pad, right? So on my website, I have drone pads and you can actually drag them into productions. So I'm gonna drag this drone pad in. And now what I'm gonna do is we're gonna double click this and we're gonna create a track stack. And this is gonna help to clean up the session a little bit and we're gonna name this loop. I'm gonna pull up that gospel patch and then I like to blend that gospel patch with Ravenscroft 275. So for the intro, I hear this line in my head. So this is the line that I'm hearing for the intro. So check this out. So with my right hand, I'm going to have this lead line melody and we're going to build on that lead line melody for the intro. So check this out. Now that we have established a intro, um, we've established a melody line, we kind of have a direction of where we are going. We're going to start building on the intro that we have. So I'm going to start adding bass. I'm going to start adding pads, effects, all of those things just to really beef up this intro. Here's a pro tip for you. Whenever you're doing a ballad or whenever you're doing a CCM song like this and you want to make it feel special in the intro, add a transitional effect to really kind of add some anticipation to what's about to happen. So check this out. I want to pull up mosaic pads, right? With this pad, I'm literally just going to pad. I'm not going to do no lines. I'm just going to hold the notes like this. We're going to let the keys do the melody and we're going to let the aux line do the melody. I want to 
come over here and I want to use my Kronos. I'm going to use a aux line on the Kronos. With this lead aux line that I'm going to play on my Kronos, we're going to just be doing the melody that we did with the keys. So we're stacking and we're building upon the melody. So just like we have this transitional effect in the intro right here, we're going to do another transitional effect going into the verse. Yeah. And here's another one for free. Since we're talking about transitional effects to make this transition into the verse a little bit different from that intro transition, we're going to add a chime in here. This is something that I often do in my productions. Now let's pull up gospel bells, the best bells right here. Gospel bells 50. I decided to add this melody line over top of the intro. It's kind of adding a little bit of texture to what's there. Now we're going to add another pad over top of the intro. Check this out. Texture. Here is another pro tip that you can use. Now I'm going to add a acoustic guitar and the acoustic guitar is going to play the melody line that we're doing so that doo, 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 doo. so we're stacking that melody. We're stacking it with different textures. We're adding things to really make it interesting. we're going to add two more things to this video if you're finding some value out of this video please hit that like button for the algorithm it really helps out a lot i'm going to pull up my nord organ and we're going to cut some organ on here That's all I have for today. I'm going to be back for part two very soon. But if you're still watching up until this point, I want to say thank you. And if you have yet to like this video, please like it for me. Comment down below. Tell me what you think about this track. Uh, that's all we have for today. We out.